Those are the six finger and thumb roll moves that I'm gonna teach you today. The single finger spin is very, very simple. The way you do this is you're gonna grab hold of the bottle, palms away, thumbs down, grab the bottle. Now if I stand sideways on, all you're doing is you're lifting the bottle up and backwards, and then you're gonna let the bottle drop around your finger, so it finger rolls around your finger, and then you're gonna grab it in your hand behind you. So up, spin, grab. Sometimes it doesn't even touch your finger. Yes. The second one is a gun sling towards you. Very, very old school move. It's two moves in one. It's around the finger and around the thumb. So first of all, we're gonna learn the spin around the finger. You're gonna hold the bottle by your index finger and your thumb like so, and you're gonna swing up like this and let the bottle spin around your finger. Then you're gonna grab it with your thumb. So up around the finger like this. Once you've caught it here, you're gonna push with your thumb and let the bottle drop around your thumb and roll around your thumb and you're gonna grab it with your fingers again. So you push and drop and you can see how I'm moving my hand to allow the bottle to spin around my thumb. Then you put the two together, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, and then eventually once you become better, you won't have to catch it in between and you can do the whole thing in one fluid motion. Number three is a gunsling in the opposite direction. Number two was a gunsling towards you. Number three is a gunsling away from you. The way we do that is we're gonna use the same thumb roll, but we're doing it in the opposite direction. Previously, we pushed the base and it dropped downwards. Now we're gonna push from the shoulder and it's gonna come up around our thumb, up around our thumb. Then from here, you're gonna grab hold of the bottle by your fingers and we're gonna push around and it's gonna drop around all of our fingers and we're gonna catch in our hand. So we're gonna drop and catch, okay? So the same as before, we're gonna do it in two stages. Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. And then once you become better and you can feel the move much more, you do the whole thing together. Number four it was made famous by a bartender called Sebastian Ogwich, and it's a really nice move to do, a bit more difficult to the previous gunslings, but it is a variation on the gunsling. This time you're gonna hold the bottle in tennis grab, so palms away, thumbs down, grab hold of the bottle. Now this time you're gonna use that same thumb roll, okay, but we're gonna thumb roll here, and we want it to go all the way around to catch into your hand. So it does a full rotation. Now from here, what you wanna try and do is that same movement, but this time you're gonna bring it across yourself so that when you catch it, you wanna catch it by the base of the bottle. Because from here, what you're then gonna do is you're gonna swing it up and it's gonna come around your fingers and you're gonna catch it back in the same position. So if I come back to here, I'm in the same position. Catch it here. Do it again, bring it back, catch it here, do it again. And you see, I'm doing it in two parts once again, around the thumb, around the fingers, around the thumb, around the fingers. And once again, when you get more confident, you do the whole thing together in one fluid motion. Yes. Number five is one of my own creations and it's, a, it's two parts once again. We're doing a palm spin and we're doing a finger roll, but we're putting the two together. So starting off with the first one, you're gonna to learn to palm spin, palm spin, palm spin. And that is just spinning the bottle for full rotation on the palm of your hand and catching it back in the same position. Now what I want you to try and do is catch the bottle near the base if you can. And then from there, you're gonna lift your hand up and you're gonna push around and let the bottle come around your fingers like this and you're gonna catch it here. So you're gonna push around and catch it here. So it finger rolls around your fingers. So you do palm spin, catch, around the fingers, catch. Palm spin, catch, around the fingers, catch. The trick here is when you do the palm spin, as it's spinning, you lift your hand up and then you use your fingers to push the bottle around so that it comes all the way around and then you catch it in your hand. Be careful because the bottle can fly off towards your head, so make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and try and get yourself a plastic bottle like this one 
to be safer when you're trying this move. If you want to get your hands on one of these bottles, there is a link in the description below of where you can get one from my website. We do ship worldwide. Okay, the sixth and final finger roll move became very famous when Mr. Jumble St. Pierre used it on stage and used many, many different variations of this move. He really took it to another level, but he was inspired by Sebastian Orguich that I mentioned earlier that created this move, and Mr. Nicholas St. John who had a lot of finger rolling movements that he had in his routine. And this is very similar to the gunsling movements that we were doing before, but we're gonna use all of our fingers. And this move whew, takes a little bit of dexterity in your fingers, but it's very simple to understand, a little bit more, more difficult to perform. You're gonna grab the bottle in a beer grab by the middle of the bottle using your pinky finger and your ring finger. Now using your other hand, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna allow the bottle, you're gonna twist with your fingers, okay? As if you're doing a, this motion with your fingers, you're gonna twist and the bottle's gonna come up, upside down. I'm using my other hand to hold it in place. Then I bring my middle finger, twist, still using my other hand to hold it there. Index finger, twist. Now from here it becomes difficult because you've got to get it all the way around to your thumb. But then you use that gunsling movement from moves two and three, excuse me. You're gonna let the bottle come all the way around your index finger, put your thumb in place and perform the thumb roll. So if you use your other hand, you can start training your fingers to be able to do this move. When you start, you do want a little push with your hand to help the spin begin but not too much. The better you become, the more you're just gonna be able to go to the move without any starting point. What I do find is doing this move without looking is actually much easier because you feel the bottle a lot more. When you're looking at it, you want it to be in a certain position, but find which works for you. And again, use your other hand to practice training your fingers to get the move correct. Woo! To get the move Correct. Right, there is one last bonus move to this and it's very similar to the one we just did around the body of the bottle. But this time you're just gonna hold the neck of the bottle and you're gonna do the same movement again, same movement again, and then you're gonna catch with your thumb and spin it around for a thumb roll at the end. So you're gonna come up here and then once you get to this point, you can't almost throw the bottle, bring your hand to the position and let it thumb roll around your thumb. Then you can start practicing putting the whole lot together and incorporating these moves into your normal routine. Yes. Right, before I go, I wanna say a massive thank you to all of these legends right here who do support me over on the Patreon platform. If you wanna find out a little bit more about that, there is a link in the description below, but these legends, are also are already getting access to my three minute Thursday series where they're learning a full flair bartending show routine which they can sell for weddings, parties, and private events. Plus they get access to my live streams every single month and the competition giveaways, which I'm doing on a monthly basis as well. So if you wanna find out more about that, there is a link in the description below. But again, a massive thank you to all you people for all of your continued support. Finally, before I go, check out the link down below. There is some new merch available. Uh, hopefully there's something there which tickles your fancy. Hopefully my order will arrive soon as well. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next week, see you.